Hi there, folks. Sherry Schreiber of GettingBetter.com. And I just wanted to put a P.S. Uh, on my last video about um, this new anxiety, uh, ridding yourself of anxiety tutorial that I'm um, working to bring about and offer you right now. And there's a special offer on that um, until the 1st of June where you can get half price off that tutorial. And your calls are already starting to come in, so thank you for paying attention and climbing on board with this. I think it's really going to help you a lot. Um, but I, I was sitting the other day and, and thinking about all the different types of anxiety that people have. And in about seven minutes, I made up a list. And I'm going to read that list to you. And maybe, just maybe, you'll relate to one or two of these anxiety triggers and think about gifting yourself this self-healing tutorial so you never have to live with anxiety ever again. Um, and maybe you'll listen to my other video that precedes this one to get the details on that, okay? But here are, this is kind of the, the tip of the iceberg. This is a list of anxiety triggers. So see if you relate to any of these, okay? All right, first one is when life's going too well. I feel anxious when life's going too well. It's this reflex of expecting the other shoe to drop. Something bad's right around the corner. We got programmed for this in childhood. Um, as I mentioned in my other video, when you feel a little ache or pain and suddenly decide that it's it's cancer starting in your body, you you go to the worst case scenario immediately, or or um, some other dreaded disease that you. Uh, have feared getting okay any little ache or pain well darlings i assure you when you get to be my age there's a lot of little sensations that go on in your body and they mean nothing so um a lot of people are anxious when they wake up in the morning they have anxiety first thing in the morning upon awakening okay this is um this is primarily due to repression of other emotions like depression. Phobias of any type, we can clear those out. Um, generally never feeling safe or secure um, or at ease. Social anxiety, I feel anxious when I get out in social situations or I'm around other people. Fear of death, that's a big one for a lot of people. Fear of success is a big one for a lot of people. <laughs> um, fast forwarding into the future, the what ifs. What if this happens? What if that happens? And of course, that's an immediate anxiety trigger for us. Um, let's see. When I feel great, what will take that away? Will some unseen force come along and rob me of my glee and my joy? <laughs> That's a biggie for so many people. It's kind of like, in my experience, what I've discovered is there are many more people that are actually afraid, terrified of real success and happiness than they are of misery and failing it, it, it's. I know it sounds extraordinary and bizarre, but boy, oh boy, is that the more common fear. Abandonment anxiety. We meet somebody new. Our tails are wagging. We're kind of excited about them. Will it last, we say to ourselves? Who do I have to be in this relationship to make it last? What if I let them see the real me? Will they leave? One anxiety a lot of people carry is if I let myself start crying, I'll never stop. They really believe this. Well, you will always stop crying once you let yourself cry. 
maybe 10 minutes into it, 15, you're actually purging old embedded pain that's been stuck in your body for a long time, probably since you were a baby. And you're finally letting it out. And it will come out in little spurts. It'll hit you in waves and come out in spurts. So crying is actually really healthy for us. It purges and moves old, stuck pain that's embedded in our cellular structure out of the body. So never be afraid to cry. It's really good for you. And you know the saying, "Have oh, I had a good cry the other day. Well, it's because we feel lighter and better afterwards. Okay? Okay. If I displease my parents, my lover, my spouse, I'll be rejected, I'll be disowned, I'll be disinherited. This is big for a lot of people. If I displease this person in my life, They'll reject me. They'll abandon me. They'll punish me. Another one is, if I don't take really good care of you and your feelings and your needs, you will see me as a bad person. You'll regard me as unlovable, unworthy of your love. This is a very, very popular anxiety and it drives a lot of people into people-pleasing behaviors and it has them sitting on and repressing their own natural normal feelings in a relationship. And um, I wrote my book, Do You Love to Be Needed or Need to Be Loved, for these people. Um, I actually wrote it specifically for psychotherapists because they have an intense need to be needed and they always have since very early on in childhood. But anybody who's a, a super giver, what I call them, people pleaser, fixer, caregiver, rescuer, needs to read that book because you'll start to understand where this impulse, where this compulsion, where this addiction comes from. And it's important to try and dismantle that for yourself. Okay, so these are just a few of the anxiety um, triggers. Some people actually rely on anxiety to motivate them. They, they, they probably couldn't get out of bed in the morning without it. So it's sort of like, oh, if I don't get out of bed right now, I'll run late, I'll lose my job, I'll get fired. So we actually use anxiety sometimes to motivate us into action. And it's a recipe for disaster. You don't want to do this. You really don't want to keep doing this. Okay? So this is just a little addendum, a little PS to my last video. Go watch that. Listen to this very special, incredibly wonderful offer. I'm gifting you to um, get on board with letting me know you're interested in my anxiety, ending anxiety program and panic attacks. Hey, let's get rid of those altogether. There's a way to do it. It's not that difficult. Really, it isn't. I've worked with lots of this stuff. It's not difficult. It's difficult to break old long-standing habits and patterns of thought you've gotten into. But the principles of ending your anxiety once and for all is really not difficult. Okay? So if you're interested in this, there's a 50% off um, your purchase price offer in my last video. Go take a look at that. See if it makes sense for you to finally, finally address this for yourself. And um, and um, give me a call. Okay, leave me a message. Let me know your name and phone number. I'll call you back. I'll put you on my list. All right. Once I get your email address. Okay, that's it for now. And bye.